I just built an AI agent that finds leads for you while you sleep. Here is how it works. You just type something like find me three dental clinics in Pune and within seconds their names, their websites, their phone numbers, even their ratings are instantly saved into a Google sheet. No Google searching, no copy pasting, no late night wasting hours. This workflow is like having a personal research assistant working 24-7. It understands your request, searches Google Google Maps picks exactly the number you ask for and drops every details neatly into a Google Sheet. Think about it. Leads for your business, suppliers for your shop or contacts for your sales team all ready while you sleep. So now we'll be building this entire workflow from scratch. It is super simple. Okay. For that you have to understand how the flow works. Okay. So first we'll type a message for example find dental clinics in Pune. As soon as we type this message it will come to an AI agent. Okay, and then it will go to Google Maps, it will fetch all the information and then it will give us a clean and a formatted data, which will then come to Google Sheet. So this is how the flow basically works. So this will be the overall format of the data that we will get in Google Sheet. So now let's go to n and understand what happens in each node. So first we'll be typing a message in the chat section. Whenever we type the message, it will come to the AI agent. And for this AI agent, I have added OpenAI chat model to think. And then we have also added a simple memory so that it remembers the past conversation. Okay. And then I have added the HTTP request node. So this is the most important node here because in this node, we'll be using Serper API to fetch the data from Google Maps. And after it receives all the data from Google Maps, so this node is used to call a different workflow. So this is the other workflow. It is also called a sub workflow. So this part is about getting all those information from Google Maps. And this part is about saving the data in Google Sheet. So as soon as this part gets all the data, it will call the sub workflow. So whenever the sub workflow gets triggered, all this data will come in this code section. So here the data will get cleaned. For example, if a phone number has plus nine one it will remove the plus nine one it will give the basic 10 digit number okay and then it will come in the google sheet it will feed all those information in google sheet as per our requirement and once this is done then it will send a reply to our n that yes the job is done so now let us see how it works so for example i'll click this open chat and now let me type three gyms in pune i'll click enter now this is loading. Now let us open our Google sheet and let's wait for the data. Now you see, we got the data. I have entered here three gyms in Pune. I have got the data here, ABS fitness and all. This is the name. This is the address. This is the number. This is the website. Here are the ratings and here are the opening hours. So now let us build everything from scratch. So first we'll be adding the chat node. Just click here and you will find this on chat message. Select this. Now click on back. So this is what we have got now. Now add AI agent, AI agent. And then you have to click on back. So now in this AI agent, there are three options here, chat model, memory and tool. Okay. So let us add a chat model of open AI. Select this. So I'll be selecting GPT 4.1 mini. Now you can click on back. Now in the memory, I'll select simple memory and the context window length will be five. It means it will remember up to the five last conversations. Now click on back. Now we'll be adding a tool here, but before adding a tool, we have to set the AI agent. So just double click here, scroll down below and here you will see add option. Just select this and we have to enter a system message here. Okay. So this will tell what the AI agent will do. Now click on expression and open this up. So I have already built a prompt. I'll just copy paste it from there. So this is the prompt. I'll copy it from here. Now I'll come here. I'll paste it here. Okay. So here you can see you are a research agent that finds verified business contact details directly from Google maps. You are using map search tool. Your job is to collect and send business data in JSON format to Google sheets using the add to Google sheets tool one page at a time. Okay. So follow these rules carefully. Always search only in Google Maps using the map search tool.
for example business model found extract this field and then if you come down below you can see return your results only in json format okay so this is the format that we want our result to be in okay and then after every map search immediately call add to google sheet tool with the json data okay do not wait for all pages to be complete number five if any field is missing write na or not applicable the number six continue searching page by page until no new results are found or 10 pages have been completed number seven never summarize describe or comment only return clear json data and number eight use only data from google maps no external sources number nine if multiple branches of the same brand appear treat each as a separate entry with its full name address and phone number so i have created this prompt using chat gpt you can also do it it's very simple now you can close this now you can scroll down below add option here maximum iterations will be 10 now i'll click on back so now i have given the prompt for the ai agent so now we have to fetch those data from google maps okay for this we'll be using a tool called serper.dev okay so it is the world's fastest and cheapest google search api so now to use the services of serper.dev we'll be using a node here which is called http request tool so we'll click here http request tool now the method here will be get but before this we'll have to add a description here you can click on expression you can open this so now you have to give a description here i'll just copy paste it from here i'll paste it here so now this http node connects to serper.dev api to automatically search for businesses on google maps it sends a get request to this url so get request means we are getting information from serper.dev for this reason we are using get and this is the URL that we will use to get all the data. Then it says the search term like dental clinic Pune is added as a query parameter, which is called Q. Okay, so Q is something that we will type in the chat. And then the other query parameter is used. HL means host language, it is English. And then geolocation, it's India. Location is India. Page, it will be one. It means it will be fetching the first page of the Google Maps result. So all this information you can find in the documentation of serper.dev. Now we see the serper API key is added in the header. So now we have to mention the serper API key here. I already have an account here. If you don't have an account, you can sign up here and you can get 2500 free queries. Now I'll click on sign in and now I'll click on API keys. So I have already created API key. So if you want to create your API key, you have to click here. Okay. So since I've already created the API key, I'll simply copy it from here. Okay, so now I've copied it. Now I'll paste it here. I've pasted it here. So now this node fetches business details from Google Maps, such as name, address, phone number, website, rating, and opening hours. In short, this tab automatically collects business data from Google Maps for Pune in this case and passes it to the next node for saving in Google Sheets. Okay, so this is the description that you have to mention. So I've built this using ChatGPT. You can also do this using ChatGPT. So now I'll click on back. So the method will be get as I have already said that we are getting information from server.dev. For this reason, we are using get method here. Now we have to mention this URL. So this HTTP node will send a get request to this URL and this URL will be of server.dev. I have already mentioned this in the description. I'll copy it from here. This is the URL. So you will find all this data in the documentation of server.dev. So I'll paste it here now authentication will be none send query parameters so now we have to activate this so specify query parameters using fields below so i have already made a list of all the query parameters that we are going to use with the help of chat gpt okay so i'll open this google file now now this is the first parameter that we have to copy it will be q so q parameters is the query that we will be entering in the chat Okay, for example, find three gyms in Pune. So that will be the Q parameter. Now the value here will be let the model define this parameter. I will use AI for this. Okay, now we'll add another parameter. Let us check what is the second parameter. The second parameter is double L. It means the latitude and longitude. We'll just copy paste it here LL and then the value. So for latitude and longitude, just go to Google. Let me type gyms in Pune. I'll click on enter. And now click on maps 
after clicking on maps just select any random gym i've selected this now so this is the latitude longitude and zoom details so we'll just copy this from here so this part will copy it and will come here and will paste it so this is the latitude and longitude now we'll have to add the other parameter which is page we'll just copy this and we'll paste it here and the value is one so for this use case i have selected one it means it will fetch all the information from the first page results so if you want to keep it two if you want to keep it three it is totally your choice for this use case i have selected one now we'll be adding the other parameter let us see what is the other parameter it is hl it means host language it is en english so we'll just come here we'll paste it here and the value will be en english let us mention the other parameter the other parameter is location we'll come here we'll paste it here location it will be india and next the other parameter is gl it means geo location and the code is in india okay we'll come here we'll paste it here and we'll enter the value in now let us see the other parameter the other parameter is filled so this is the last parameter fills we'll paste it here so fills means what all data are we going to fetch from the google maps so we'll just copy all this title phone number website address rating hours and please note that all this information you can easily find in the documentation of serpa.dev so now i'll just come here i'll paste it here the value is done now the query parameter is done now we'll be adding the header here so header is the api key that we'll be sending so for this select using fills below in the name we'll be copying this part x api key so it is the format that it accepts now we'll paste it here and now for the api key value come here i'll just copy this and i'll come here again and i'll paste it this is my api key for server.dev now this part is done http request node is done i'll click on back here now our job to fetch all the information from google maps is done now the next job for us is to save those information in google sheet we will do this in a separate sub workflow to do this in a sub workflow from here we will have to call a different workflow so for this we'll have to add a node here which is called call anytime workflow tool we'll be adding this node here after adding this note here also we have to mention a description we'll open this so i've already set a description in my google doc i'll just copy paste it from here i'll just paste it here so this tool saves business details into google sheet the data should be sent in this format okay so this is json format so i've built this using chat gpt now click on back now source will be database workflow select id now we have to mention the id but before mentioning the id here we have to save our workflow just click on save and now come here again now we will see this is the id so we'll just copy this id from here copy this and just paste it here okay so this part is done now click on back so now we'll be calling a serve workflow so the job of serve workflow is to save all this data in google sheet now we'll be saving this and we'll click on plus and we'll search execute serve workflow so just select this click on trigger when executed by another workflow okay so now we'll select this now here select accept all data okay so it means it will use all the incoming data from the parent workflow select this option click on back drag in drag and drop it here let me drop it here okay so now this looks good so now when we get all the data we have to clean the data and then only we can put it in google sheet so to clean the data we'll have to use a code so to add a code just click on plus and search code select this and select code in javascript so i don't know how to code so i have built this code using chat gpt i'll just open this so i'll just copy the code that i have already created using chat gpt so this is the code I'll just copy this whole thing. I'll come here and I'll paste it. Okay, so this part is done. So this code will clean the data in a proper format so that it is easier for Google Sheet to add the data there. So now I'll click on back. So this code part is done. Now I'll be adding a Google Sheet. Okay, enter Google Sheet select append row in a sheet 
so if you have not connected your google sheet account you have to connect it it is very simple if you have any doubt you can let me know later on so i have already connected my google account so i'll select this now i have to select the document from here i have already created a document this is the one now from here it is sheet one i'll select this now it shows mapping column mode okay so map each column manually i'm not going to do this manually i'll be doing this automatically so for this i'll select map automatically so now i'll click on back so till this part what will happen is whatever data we have collected it will give it in google sheet so now the last node will be adding to give information to n n that yes the job is done so for this we'll be adding another node here also we have to get a code node we have to code here now we'll be selecting this code in javascript and here this is the default code that you will see you have to delete everything here and since i have already built this code i'll just copy paste it from this document this is the code i have copied from here i'll paste it here i'll click on cross i'll click on back now i'll click on save okay so our workflow is ready now we'll just have to test it okay but before testing it I'll just open the sheet once. So this is the old data. I'll delete this. Okay. Now I'll come back here again. And now this time let me type three dental clinics in Pune. I'll click on enter. Now the workflow has started. It is going to HTTP request and then the chat model is deciding and restoring in simple memory. And now I'll have to check my sheet that I mean, let me open the sheet. Now let's wait for the data to come and boom, we got the data. This is the name of the dental clinic. This is the address. Here is the phone number. Here is the website. Here is the rating. Here is the opening hours. Okay. So if you need the JSON file or this Google document where all the prompts and code is written properly, just let me know.